up gang welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm finally finally filming this video on this poly relationships and how i feel about it and if i want to be in one or if i am in one or if i've been in one before but i did a poll on this probably like three weeks ago and i had it all set in my mind how i wanted to film it what i wanted to talk about points of view blase blase then one night i was scrolling on facebook and I bumped into a channel from someone that used to stay in my hometown and he's in a poly relationship right now. His name is TKO Capone and they go by TKO Capone and the Drip Angel. So off top, it just kind of piqued my attention because I used to watch Taz's Angels like when Taz's Angels was in a prime, you know, they had it popping in Florida. They was going on vacations. All his girls was bad. Like, I used to be like, hey, you know, they was taking trips. Um, main thing, teamwork was making the dream work. All of that. So, long story short, I kind of been in tune with what they're doing as far as their lives. They have, like, Facebook lives, Instagram lives. And I seen that they recently posted, um, like, different YouTube videos, interviews, what have you. So I thought it would be a great idea for me to do like a reaction video. That way I can kind of merge my opinions with other people to show both sides. I wanted to do the video like with one of my friends, but with the whole COVID and the Corona thing, it's kind of like hard to get everybody together right now. So I'm gonna do a reaction video. This is my first time editing a reaction video. So if something is a little off, you know, give your girl, mm, give me a little leeway, but I'm gonna try to get it together and hopefully y'all enjoy the video. The next question I'm gonna ask is, um, is the relationship a, a submissive one? And if so, who are the submissives? Is, the, is it the women? Because women are always submissive. So this question for the females, right? This is question for the females. <laughs> so what we wanna know is, is this a submissive relationship? And if so, are you guys submissive? If so, what? What was the last part? Are you the submissive one? Yeah, um, for the most part. I mean, every queen should be submissive to their king. So, I mean, we we still have conversations. Like, if there's an issue or something, we can always bring it to him. But at the same time, I trust his judgment. So, he is very much the I'm submissive one. one. Yeah. Okay. But I, and I think it depends on the situation, too. I mean, because I think... I mean, as far as sexual, it can be something different, but for the most part, he's definitely the dominant one. Agree? Yeah. Yeah. So, very first question. In a poly relationship, should you be submissive? Or is it the woman's role to be submissive? I think, and this would differentiates me with like regular poly relationships and I'm not gonna say regular, but more mainstream relationships in America is that, you know, you always have to be submissive. Like you can't ever have like your own point of view, like the man run everything, all this stuff like that. Me, I will bump into that. I will bump into a problem because I wouldn't have a problem being submissive and following your lead if you know what you're doing and I trust in you and you know what I'm saying, you got a good background, da, da, da. But... I couldn't be so submissive to where I changed my whole personality and I stopped what I'm doing or what I would like to do. I think that's the main problem. And it could be because um, my single period, you know, and dealing with past relationships. But I guess you can call me hard headed. Like we will bump heads. Like, because if I feel like I want to wear something, then I'm going to wear it. Like, or if I feel like I want to go somewhere, yes, I'm going to run it past you. But your word is not going to be the final decision with having a child who is probably very observant how did you share with your son that you were in, a, were in a relationship with multiple people how did his father react to that information mm. um, well, you, I sound nonchalant but i don't explain myself to anybody outside of my relationship not even my kids mm -hmm. He can't even ask where I'm going. <laughs> My kid couldn't even, he can't even ask me where I'm going because I'm not going to respond. I, I just don't want a child to think it's okay to start questioning parents. Um, when you get older, you're still obviously a child, but children don't know how to move in silence, how 
I do or how parents do. So I don't want to deliver any type of information that could be portrayed or transferred to somebody else who should know anything I don't want them to know. So I never explained it to him per se. However, um, he knew who he lived with, but I was never really affected in front of my kid. I don't right. think other than maybe a peck on the lips. I don't think you should really be affectionate in front of children because right. their mind starts to wander. They I agree. You can be right. and go down. So, <laughs> um, I think it's okay. If they're, you know, it's both, you know, their parents. You know and, I mean? and, and if it's and if it's just a if it's just a kiss, I ain't gonna your dad ain't gonna just slow me down. <laughs> okay, I think this is one of the main things. Um, that has held me back or would have held me back um, in regards to a poly relationship is my kid. You know, like I could see if he was smaller, like baby and toddler wise, and he was brought up in that type of environment, that would be like the norm for him. Um, my son has autism, um, like high function and autism. So, he is very like schedule 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 who is this person uh you know what i mean so i couldn't just see he's about to be 13 i couldn't just see myself um changing up the norm saying okay so like we're about to move into this house and this is who this is this is who this is you know what i mean it would like give him like a mind over overflow over whatever you want to call it like it would mess up his little mind you know what i'm saying like he would be like you know who are all these people in our house so i would have to put that part of what i would want to do on a back burner to maybe like if i still felt like that's something that i want to do i would wait until like he was in high school or you know or something to that point um when you have kids for me I would think when you have kids, like your whole life change and it's really supposed to revolve around your kids for for the most part. You got to think about the well-being of your kids. And I'm not knocking her for being in a relationship when she had, you know, a child. But it sounds like to me like that her child probably was a little younger. And um, like she said, she didn't have to explain nothing to, her, uh, to him to a certain extent. My son is of age to where, you know, he's he know what's going on. Anybody that I talk to, like, I don't break down everything that I do because I am still his mom and I am the adult, but I give him enough common courtesy to know who he's around. You know, I don't just bring around a whole bunch of people. So that's how I feel in regards to that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so is it, so are you, are, is this the bisexual relationship? No, um, we were- Or do y'all have our own individual relationship Zero with each other or with TK? Are you asking? I understand because I'm not a label, a label type person either, but it is what it is. If Desiree and I want to do something and that's what we want to do, then we do it. Right. One of the viewers want to know, she said, you radiate unbothered, she said, and the shit's pretty fantastic, but how long did it take you to become completely comfortable with this lifestyle? Cause you were here first, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I was his best friend first. So, uh, while he came, yeah. So while he was, while he like developed into the lifestyle, I wasn't necessarily with him. I was just his best friend for at least okay. like, what, like seven, six, seven years before. Mm. So before that, before I came into the lifestyle with him, then it was just like we were just best friends. So. What was the question? <laughs> 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 how long did it take you to become Oh, okay. Um, I guess not that long, but I mean, kind of in the middle a little bit. You know, I had to, I had to be more comfortable with everything that's going on because it's new to me at the same time. Like, like are you dealing with, oh, with like different girls, different females. All right. Dealing with you know just everything because it's new when you first come in right so at the same time i felt i like right now i feel definitely more comfortable with him more confident in our relationship right. so 
Right, right. Right now it's like the best. So TKL, when are you guys, when are you gonna marry Armani? She looks like, seems like she's the most loyal. Well, I don't want to say that, but I mean like she's been yeah, around. Man, check this out. You know, uh, and the way I look at this thing is, uh, man, we already married. We are, and, 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 it's, and, and it's not like, like I said in my life, I don't know. You just try to take a sip. Is the dog just trying to take a sip? You just see the dog. She just licked my lips. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you in your nose, Diva. They gonna call, I'm gonna say they're gonna call animal rights. Some, 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 some drink. They already call me the black uh, tiger king. But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> damn, what was the question? <laughs> Do you plan on when you there with you the longest? I, I, I when think. you gonna marry him? When you gonna marry him? <laughs> no, no, we, we, but we don't, we don't do that. You know, if 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 I, if I was gonna single out um, and marry Armani particularly, then I wouldn't engage with anybody else. When I say I'm building a family, I'm really building a family. So when I die, I want to have six, six to seven, eight, how many females coffins, right? But yeah, I, I, I take this, I take this uh, relationship with everybody very seriously. I'm not doing this just for a quick thrill. I'm not doing this for a couple of years. I'm doing this for a lifetime. You know, but just a lot of people can't last for a lifetime. I want longevity. You know, I want to motherfucking like, like I said, grow together. I want to grow old together. So it's not just about Armani. But yes, Armani's been here the longest. And yes, she's a beautiful woman. But yeah, she already understand. You know, uh, this is all a royal family, man. Yeah, so we exactly. right. it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that all these are So is there a hierarchy? You said what? Is there like a hierarchy? You know, I, like no. No, it's, it's no favor. I mean, because people already know this. At the end of the day, it's, it's like this. You know, don't get me wrong. When somebody's joined my team, joined my empire, joined my whatever you call it, my family, um, they gonna know. Yeah, she's been here 13 years, so we don't gotta. She don't gotta have a ribbon on her chance, and like you know, we don't gotta add more and give some royalty. And hey, you wanna sit in the front seat? Like, no, we don't play none of no childish ass motherfucking games. You know, she already know her position, and yes, I mean, duh, motherfuckers are gonna know that when it comes to trusting and feeling secure. Yeah, because she proved that, and other, other right. people have to prove that same solidness. But, right. that's, right. that's, but that's about it, you know. At the end of the day, you know, uh, I, I don't play favorites. I don't play the, you know, I don't play the main chick. And like, nah, we, we are the main up in this event. You feel what I'm talking about? Oh, you oh wait. Uh, all right, this is where we clash. At. This is another problem that I'm having straight out the gate. They don't really go in depth into it like they did on one of their lives with the whole seniority thing <sighs> i would feel some type of way i'm just saying like everybody personality is different but i really can't rock with if i'm holding you down through jail um through all your little trials and tribulations i was your best friend first been holding you down for 13 years and then you get a new chick or we bring a new chick in and she there for two weeks and you like now you know everybody on the same playing field what <laughs> no we're not <laughs> she ain't proved shit what she proved she ain't proving nothing i low-key felt disrespected and i ain't even in the goddamn poly family you know what i mean no she gonna have to actually put in some work to build this foundation that he's talking about i i will feel some type of way now i'm not just saying like obviously if you in that type of relationship you want to see everybody as equal but at the same time, you got to work your way up to that. You can't just come in out the gate and be like, oh, yeah, you on the same playing field. No, I'm, mm, we're not rocking like that because we're we not rocking like that. It just it, it just wouldn't work. And then as far as the whole marrying thing, um, that's another thing that's different from us in different countries. Everybody always want to go back to saying, oh, you know, in Africa, they still got kings and queens and kings got 12 wives and which is normal which is very normal i don't know if i've said this a lot in my past videos i'm pretty sure i touched on it but everybody like lose their shit or flip shit over when they hear people in these types of relationships that's just because that's not our norm or your norm because you wasn't raised that way it doesn't mean you know it's not right the usa is not the only country like it's not the only place on the whole freaking globe like everybody doesn't rock the same you know what i mean 
people crack me up with that but i will say that as well like over there it is oh you marrying this person you marrying this person you know what i'm saying like they're all married so that's a little difference in what he got going on and trying to say that is somewhat the the what am i trying to say like the blueprint of the whole relationship how everybody's like oh well they do it over there it's different in america stuff like that but everybody's relationship is different so i understand that i understand the whole marriage part because i am with it like if you got a bond you really don't have to go into a deep title like that as far as like marriage that's a whole nother video i feel like this this paperwork government all in your business what i turned down the person that i love if they wanted to get married no but would I be hounding the person like, when we gonna get married? When we gonna get blah, blah, blah. No, you know what I mean? So and that's how I feel about this. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, okay. So there's a question for uh, TKO. At mm -hmm. one point, at what point did you decide that you were emotionally and financially able to lead a household with multiple wives? A lot of men want multiple women, but aren't in the position mentally, financially, or emotionally to be that type of leader. Right. Ooh, what's a beautiful That's motherfucking right. question. That was a Actually, you know, when I started, I was at the bottom. So I wasn't in a financial situation. We all built it up together. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, see, people think that a man only take care of his house if he has money. But the real jewels is in the mind, the knowledge, the wisdom. So I already had that. I had the vision, the mind, the knowledge, the wisdom, the dreams, and the ambition. So that's what I gave. You that shit. You Straight up, up. Gang. <laughs> okay, the final part of it, because this interview went on for like an hour, and we ain't got time for that. I know I'm already cutting me close with this. Um, cash flow money, how everything moves. Um, the misconceptions. So off the bat when i heard about it i'm not even gonna lie i thought it was some some extra shit going on you know what i mean because that's the only type of thing that's pushed to the forefront with desiree saying that she's a dancer and then the other girl i forgot her name the one that left with the with the black on she said she's a square now but she used to dance I already was in that mind frame like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Prejudging without, you know, watching what they were actually doing. But after I watched a couple of lives, um, where she goes by Armani. Armani does her own lives and she went into explanation of why she started dancing. You know, it's her personal decision. He doesn't make her do that. And then his other girl is actually not even in that type of lifestyle. She's doing something totally different. I'm just like, oh, okay, so that makes sense. I can respect him saying that everything was brought up together. And I don't think I put that part in there, but he was saying how he get royalty off his money or off of his songs because he, he raps and some other stuff he has going on. I can respect that. If you're not going to solely take care of everybody because it's the type of relationship you own, then I'm going to need you to put in. I can't stand them relationships where they say they're poly or they're doing something like that and it's disguised as pimping hoe shit. Like, you make it seem like you got all this game, you spend all this knowledge to them, but they the ones out here getting all the money, bringing it back to you, and you're not doing shit. You know what I mean? But it doesn't seem that way with them. It seemed like they honestly have, you know, a cool little bond going on and they actually building. And I can respect that. I can respect a lot of the things that I've heard him talk about. Some of the other stuff that I don't agree with. But that's just my personal preference. Everybody is different. And drum bro, would everybody want to know on my polls? Would I actually be in a relationship like this? Or have I been in a relationship like this? The answer is no, I haven't been in a relationship like this. And that is because of my i want to say my kid and also i'm just now getting into um myself and what i want and what i like to do and how i want to move um majority of my 20s in my adult life like i've always moved off of 
what my friends would think about me, what other people would think about me. It's just a lot that a lot of people don't know about me, you know, because I don't say certain things or I would be afraid of prejudgment or somebody leaving or be like, oh, this is how you rocking like we can't be friends or I can't be around you. Da, da, da. I'm pretty much over that now. Um, the ones that I do have, we might have disagreements on certain things, but they love my ass and I love them. So the answer is in a perfect world, would I probably be in a relationship like that? I would say, yeah, because I'm more comfortable with the female energy. Um, I've always gravitated towards more female energy, like let's do our makeup, let's go out to eat, let's get dressed up you know what i mean and then as far as the male aspect i've always went more towards personalities um how a man can build you up or excuse me how a man can add to you to help build yourself up the whole protection thing yeah so there's that hopefully the video wasn't that long leave me comment below let me know if you want me to do more reaction videos but i want to know y'all experiences have y'all ever been in a relationship like this what are your thoughts would you would you be afraid of what your peers would say or your family also follow me on my instagram page at lifted underscore artistry because i'm going to post this makeup look tomorrow a short video and if I feel like editing because this is already going to take long, then I'll post the longer video of this with like a voiceover on my YouTube page. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And tell all your friends and your mama and your daddy and everybody around y'all to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 500 at least before July. I'm getting better at it. I'll see y'all next time.